Hey guys, David here, and in this video, I'd like to go ahead and show you how to make money from Facebook in 2020 and beyond, but specifically how I was able to make over $500 on Facebook with just one Facebook post. All of that is in this video, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do it, so make sure to stay to the end of this video so that you don't miss any of these steps. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into this strategy on how to earn money from Facebook. So the first thing that I did in order to earn over $500 on Facebook is that I went over to Google and I started typing in munchai.com. Now munchai.com, if you don't know, is a launch calendar for different products that are launching in the make money online space. So that could be software, that could be info products, that could be courses, that could be a whole bunch of different things. And I went on to this website for one specific reason and it was to find vendors who may have a Facebook group that I could then friend request a bunch of people in their Facebook group who are interested in make money online products. So all I did is I scrolled down until I found somebody that I was interested in and I chose Jono Armstrong. Once I found Jono Armstrong, I went ahead and I typed in his name inside of Facebook. Then I went over to the group section and I found that he has a group called Mobily, which he is a part of. So then all I did is I just requested to be a part of that group. They accepted my request and then I went inside the group and started finding people who were interested in the different posts about make money online inside of this group. And then I scrolled down until I found a post that had a bunch of comments on it and I friend requested every single person in those comments because those are the people who are highly engaged and ready to make money online and I perceive them as being people who would interact with my post that I would post on my personal Facebook profile. Next, I just scrolled down and I looked at all the different members in the groups and started adding people to my personal profile friends so that I could then get them to see my posts about affiliate marketing products on my profile. Once I reached about a thousand friends on my personal Facebook profile, I went ahead and I went to a website called Warrior Plus. Now in Warrior Plus, I went to the offer section underneath the affiliate tab and I scrolled down and I found a product that I liked and that I wanted to promote. Once I found that product, I applied and I got my affiliate link to start promoting that product. And in this case, it was the product called Kindle Kings. Now that I had a thousand friends on Facebook and I had a product that I was ready to promote, it was time to put together my promotion. So what I did is I went over to canva.com and I created a simple picture 800 by 800 pixels with a headline that would capture attention and a call to action. And in this case, I had people comment the word books underneath my Facebook post. Here is the exact post that I created. And as you can see, there are over 246 different comments to that post. And once people commented on that post, all I did is I went over to Google Drive and I created a Google Doc that would send them to a bonus page that I created. The Google Doc was very simple and all it had was one call to action that said click below to see the passive income method. Once people clicked on that link, it took them to my bonus page. Once they looked at my bonus page, they could see that there was a video review of the product as well as a call to action button to click there to claim all of their bonuses. Now these bonuses were extremely simple to make. All I did was create simple tutorials and then just offered them as high quality bonuses. This became the perfect package for anybody interested in this product. And I made the product extremely desirable because of the bonuses and because of the product that I selected. The product was very high quality and it taught people how to make passive income selling low content books, which everybody likes passive income. Once people clicked on the green action call button, it actually would trigger my affiliate link and lead directly to the sales page for the Kindle Kings offer that I was promoting. And then the people could go ahead and click on get here for instant access and I would be credited the sale every single time somebody would buy this product for $12.95. And what's good about this is the product Kindle Kings was actually a very low barrier of entry because it was such a low price product. So if the product was like $100 or more, I would have gotten way less people opting in, but instead I made over 35 sales and $522 with this offer because it was such a low barrier to entry and I had a bunch of people who were interested in the offer and tons of them actually converted into sales. If you take a look at my stats, you'll actually see that I have a 65% conversion rate with 39 sales and 60 unique hauls, which means I only sent over 60 people to the product, but I made 39 sales because the product was so cheap and people really wanted a product that created passive income and that's exactly what Kindle Kings did. So my recommendation when doing this method is pick a product that is very cheap 
so in the $13 range, and then make sure that product has a wide appeal so that many people would be interested in checking out the product that you are promoting. Now, when it comes to the actual post that you will be posting on your personal Facebook profile, we already talked about the image and how to create a high converting image on Canva. But now let's go ahead and talk about the copy or the words that are going to be going inside of your post on Facebook. So first off, you wanna start off with some kind of headline that grabs people's attention. In this case, I did passive income made easy with two fire emojis. So it's really important to use emojis when creating these kinds of Facebook posts because it really captures people's attention. Then you wanna go ahead and talk about some kind of pitfall or some kind of reason that they need to be listening to you on this specific topic. So in this case, I said, sometimes the idea of passive income seems like a fairy tale but what if there's a way that it couldn't be a fairy tale? And then I went ahead and I explained exactly what the offer is all about. I'm talking about selling low content books. So I'm making the offer seem really appealing and I'm making the offer seem like it can be available to anybody interested in making money online. So I really made this niche broad because I didn't wanna focus on just a few people. I wanted to get as many clicks and as many comments and as many likes and shares as I could on this post to boost the performance. Then I just mentioned at the end that they need to be commenting the word books below and that I would be reaching out to them with a personal message, giving them the information that they're looking for inside of the post. The other tips are, Make sure that you write the first comment yourself. So I just put comment books and I did a little emoji and then I went ahead and I liked my own post. That just gets the algorithm going and that just starts Facebook promoting it because it already has one comment and one like. So it's more likely to take off faster inside of the Facebook algorithm. Once people actually commented books, I went ahead and I liked every single post so that I could keep track of who commented when. And then I went ahead and sent them a personal message informing them to click on the Google Doc link and then follow the instructions in that link, which basically was just a click to get over to my bonus and sales page so that they could go from my sales page to the actual sales page and I would get the commission for that affiliate product. And then when it was all said and done and I sent them the message, I went ahead and I just commented thanking them for interacting with my post and letting them know that I sent them the personal message. Now here's a tip, make sure to kind of change up every single one of your comments. So as you can see here, I said, thanks, video has been sent. And then this one, I said, thanks for the comment, I sent the video over. So make sure to change up your comments every once in a while when you're commenting and replying back to all the people who have commented on your post because Facebook likes that, it's going to help the algorithm and it's gonna keep you from getting in trouble with repetitive comments in your post. Now that you have all the information that you need in order to go out and implement this method and start making money with it, let's go over the steps one more time. Step number one is find relevant Facebook groups. Now in order to do this, you're going to go over to the website called munchai.com that we talked about earlier. And inside of this website, you're going to be finding vendors names click on one of those names, copy and paste their names into Facebook, and then look for their Facebook groups because more than likely their Facebook groups actually contain people who have bought products from them in the past, meaning that those people are more likely to buy from your affiliate link if they see your promotion posts than people who are just generally interested and make money online. Step number two is add Facebook friends. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding those friends from those relevant groups that we talked about earlier. Once you've added those friends to your Facebook profile, you should be posting about one time a day to three times a day in order to keep them engaged with your content so that they know, like, and trust you. Step number three is that you're going to be applying to promote a certain product. So in order to do this, I would recommend going over to warriorplus.com. Once you're at warriorplus.com, look at all the trending offers and just go down and find one that you feel like would really convert and has a good sales page, good offer, and you would feel like would resonate with most people in the make money online niche. Once you have that product, go ahead and apply for your affiliate link. And once you have your affiliate link, then you can move on to step number four. Step number four is to make that engaging Facebook post that we talked about using canva.com. In order to do this, I recommend doing 800 by 800 pixels so you get that nice big square look so it gets a bunch of eyeballs on that post so you get more clicks, more views, and more people buying from your affiliate link, which means you make more money. 
And after you've gotten that post done, then it's time to write that post. And when you're writing that post, I recommend using a lot of emojis. And I also recommend having some kind of headline that hooks the reader and then presents some kind of problem and then a solution at the very bottom with a call to action for them to comment a certain word underneath your post. Step number five is that you need to create a Google Doc that has a simple call to action and then they link that goes to either a bonus page that you've created or directly to the sales page with your affiliate link inside of that link in the Google Doc. Once you've created that Google Doc, now all you have to do is think of a clever message that you're gonna be sending each one of those individual people who comment on your post, something along the lines of, hey, thank you for commenting books. Here is all the information that you need in order to make money online selling low content books. That was the example that I used in mine. Think of anything that you would like and then plug it into your system. I really hope that you got tons of value from this video. I really wanted to go step by step so that you knew this method so that you can implement it in your own business and make lots of money from it. Consider subscribing and smashing that like button if you love Make Money Online videos, affiliate marketing, and everything that has to do with this niche. I'm David and I will see you next time.